All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you guys and we are always smiling. If you watched the last video, yo, the last video series was epic. It was amazing for me because we were in the grill with everybody. But in today's video, I'm taking you to one of my favorite street food spots. I don't quite have a lot of them. I'm still searching for more and more. But this one's one of my favorite ones because I think they sell authentic Jamaican cuisine, but with their little twist. And the hospitality here and the customer service is always great. That was a school just now, the guy walking past with some bread food. I know they're about to roast that up, and that's something I definitely want in the street food episode. All right, Michelle, I know say for your there, so you say you want to forget um, coconut, coconut water. water. And that was one of the yeah. things I remember that this place had, yes. so we're getting that. So I don't have to ask anymore, it's yeah. right here. It's right here. <laughs> and there's like several coconuts, yo. It's like coconut central, all different types of coconuts. And you know in Jamaica, any good street food spot has a jerk pan. That's just like commonplace. Jilly, you had the food here last time. How was it for you? It was really good. It was really I good. Red herring. I've never had red It was red herring, yeah. Yeah, and some roast bread fruit. What I really like here is the aki with a kind of um, like a jerk pork type of thing together. I like that. But never had that last time. I don't think they did. And Sarah's here. So, yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> vibes. So we're gonna have some of that right now and have a vibe. All right, so as you're walking, you don't know that whole nice Jamaican vibe with the sink roof and the board type of setting right that and first thing that catches my eyes are these red beautiful tomatoes and the pepper and everything. On the order already? Oh, so they have some nice avocados back there. The red skin looking one and the green one, everything. Mommy, why you have on the menu today? No pork. No pork is not ready. Oh my no gosh. All right, we're, uh, we're gonna lock up a shop now. Come on. <laughs> All right, so no pork is here. Um, How much? Do you wanna wait? Huh? Facts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yes, that's I that's have no problem waiting for the board, so we'll wait. Alright, so we are waiting for the jelly man on here, you forward. So I'll get some jelly right now for past the time in those 30 minutes. I'm dealing with style. Yeah. I choose. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Why the difference between the yellow jelly and them and the green one? Them? Nice. Same thing. Yeah. No difference in the flavor. Just different color. Just different color. Yeah. Come on, sweeter than one. Which one sweeter than one? Rubbish that. Yeah. You say I rubbish that? Yeah, man. You keep the whole of them. Some fresh, some sweet. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. So you got no straw. Make it look official. You don't need no straw. I think you're the right. I don't need a straw. Some jelly water there. Eh? Mm. Mm. Where's the coconut water sweet? So the young you would say there's no difference between the coconuts, the maple arts questions and learn these things. True. Yeah, so but one would wonder what's the uh, yeah, I would I would wonder what's the difference. But anyway, we're gonna have this coconut water. This side is sweet. I'm gonna try some real quick. Oh where? Yeah. 
It is sweet. It's really sweet. I like my coconut lays when they have a slight fermented. Yes. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from the front. Oh my god. Maybe where the difference comes in is just the, the probably the meat texture inside. Cause this one is kinda tough. Yeah, it's pretty hard this one. But it's good coconut. Serve! Serve. <laughs> <laughs> I joke, mommy, I have a question though. Yeah. We're passing here in the morning a couple of days ago. I want to know, you guys normally sell breakfast or normally start for lunch? No, so, as a quick FYI, if you're ever passing here and you want breakfast, it's not going to be available. I find like a lot of the places along this side of the island in the morning, you're not going to really find much for breakfast as far as I'm concerned, but lunchtime definitely is a good time to come here. And if you need to, they also have ice cold jellies. Welcome into Highway Yaman's Kitchen. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that pork. When you cut the pork, when you cut the pepper actually, you can smell it from outside, right Jilly? Yeah. My gosh. Let me tell you man. Have some pimento leaf. Pimento leaf, nice. Mm -hmm. Pimento leaf, thyme, pepper. Mm -hmm. Sweet pepper, Sweet country pepper. pepper. Country, pepper. <laughs> country pepper have a nice flavor to it. It's hot, yeah. but it have a nice flavor. And the garlic. Garlic. Mm -hmm. All that cement side of it. My gosh. And to the yam them over there, so the yeah, roast the sweet bread potato food. And the roast bread food. So we have a sweet potato and the roast bread yes. food over there, so my so gosh. I'm gonna serve it now. So this is the salt sweet, mackerel? Yes, yeah, sweet potato and the bread food. Oh my god, look on the salt mackerel. And this is the ackee and saltfish. Oh, you know, sir, we definitely want ackee and saltfish. And the good part about it, you can do like a combination. If I want pork and ackee, like me do last time, we can do that. Oh my gosh, thank you. I want pork, I want pear, and uh, breadfruit. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this atmosphere is like it starts prepping you for what to come. Like once you're in here, you're getting all those smoky flavors. So you know whatever you're gonna eat is gonna taste like it come off of a wood fire. Which indeed that's what it's coming off of. And yo, I'm so excited, I don't even lie, yo. Yeah. Thank you. You my pear. Oh we can leave some for later, man. Listen. Oh my gosh. No, sir. It's so nice. Yes. So, the port looks bad. My taste buds are like mm. going wild. And the avocado. Oh my gosh. In Jamaica, we call it pear. Pear. It's now pear season here. Okay. Yeah. And this is a wonderful pear. Yes. Like a P A I R, Michelle, and this pear is a wonderful pear. Oh, yeah. good one. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a wonderful pear. Oh my God. So I thought one of the greatest inventions God made was man until I see this plate of food. <laughs> I want your review. Tell me what you think. Get the spices? It's spicy. <laughs> and it just kick you. Yeah. Like when it's supposed to kick, kick you. you. <laughs> wow. That's the Aki. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. <laughs> Guys, thank you, Steve. <laughs> 
Thank you. You know that's our job, finding some of the best street food spots in Jamaica. And this is definitely hands down one of them. It's ridiculous how good it is. And the breadfruit. Wash pot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Mm, mm, mm. Try the that avocado because we know say pear just goes well with everything. Like I said, it's a great pear. Wonderful pairing. Wow. So guys, this, this is me. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> What's the texture? Is it like a dry type of pear? Is it ready? No, this one is not dry. It's not dry. You know, but the flavor is the flavor kicks up. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. No, listen. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> mm. Ooh, pepper red pine for cheer, boy. Yeah, man, she knows that you really like her pepper, man. Thank you. I'm going to get my bone and my fat. That is good. You asked that specifically? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I like that. It's not like we ain't go to certain restaurants they tell them they want leg and tie and them tell us no. No, you can't get it. No, they will, they will hook you up here for sure. Once they have it, they'll make you have it. Try that pork. Ooh. This, the, 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 the aroma of the food is ridiculously good. Mm. No, I got mine. Pretty smoky, right? So I'm still waiting on mine, but my cousin made a good point just now. She was saying she's wondering if she if she still lived here, if she would still appreciate um, places like these as much. And I I, I kind of feel what she's saying. But me myself personally, I tell myself that I need to appreciate these stuff because yeah these are the stuff that a lot of persons around the world really want to experience and I'm gifted enough to be able to experience that every single day so it's really a state of mind that you have to kind of plug into yourself really <laughs> yeah enough respect thank you man <laughs> Subscribe or you just watch? I think, I think so. <laughs> I think so because when you guys come on and anything that come on about Jamaica, I always try. Nice. <laughs> wow. Alright, so I have the opportunity now to have mine. I hope you guys can hear me close. I hope you guys can hear me better because we are at the street food spot and that's what makes it so unique and authentic. So I have some pear there for myself and there's the food i'm gonna dig in and what i'm looking for is consistency does it taste the same way like it did two months ago first off with the aki i don't think i've ever had aki with such punchy flavors like literally the aki itself is carrying the entire show like you know Nina Salfish which alone could have started the show. You watch a movie there. One man is like kill everybody. I say Aki I go on. The Aki itself full of whatever flavor. Pork. Yo, it's an assault of the different spices that Jamaica has. Yo, and it and it, it, it it's just so funny. It doesn't taste cliche. It has its own little vibe, and I think that's very much credited to the country pepper. You see, me the country pepper does a lot for this dish. And the breadfruit is just soft and nice. Now for the avocado. I know some people are roasting me in the comments because I, I, I don't say pear. That's okay. 
It's not the bready kind of here, but I don't care. Rotted. Y'all dissolve each to it? <laughs> Yo, everything together is just like a perfect thing. This is the only fish in Jamaica I've ever got. A kind of like a jerk pork or a stew pork with aki together and it just works seamlessly yo and this is what i kind of look for when i'm looking for street food i want a uniqueness i want great flavor and i want consistency is it consistent yes it is my cousin just mentioned just now that every bite is different <laughs> so every bite just takes you on a different adventure in your taste but yo it's just it's ridiculously good Nice, don't look like sugar time, you know. So, I forgot left from Kingston every time I'm one pork. Come on, so hey, I'm gonna tell you all the rest of you one yam one beer. <laughs> and guess what? Whole world, me no shame, <laughs> guys. It's your amount of food, my cousin Shell Long and one whole of beer. What you feel by yourself? Feel good. I feel good, and I think it's a sin, though. Guys, I ate the food as if somebody else was trying to get some. <laughs> it's a good look. You sure that the food was good? Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I'm still a girl. <laughs> All right, so we're back in the car right now, and I'm with a child. Um, <laughs> Monaga, like, that was a really great experience. The food was amazing, and what I appreciate. The food isn't what you stereotypically consider to be the average cost for street food, but all the diversity that you get it's worth every single penny um i forgot to mention about the 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 roast breadfruit because that's what they're basically known for that was nice and buttery tastes like them rubbing for chiffon upon it before them serve you and everything so that was good i'm so stuffed but um you know michelle is here and we're going to take her on another food adventure we just had lunch so definitely dessert is in order are you ready michelle i am super Duper ready. All right, cool. So we are right now off to the pudding, man. I think that's a great experience. The way that they make the food, you know, it just has so much artistry. And um, yeah, I'm gonna take her there and see how she thinks about it. All right, guys. So we just got done having brunch just now, and it was pretty good. Now I know, being a YouTuber, people ask a lot of questions about the gadgets and the stuff that I have, whether it's, you know, from the pots that I use to cook the food, to the camping gear, to the drone that I have, to the editing software, stuff like that. And when I have the chance to share something really great with you guys, I definitely will. Now, you guys know I am a YouTuber and a lot of the times I'm out there somewhere in the bush, some wilderness, some Airbnb or whatever the case is and electricity becomes a very, very important thing because clearly YouTube is not really a game per se. It's very fun, but you need to get the videos out or else you guys will be unhappy when the videos don't come out on time. Now, speaking of time and making videos, electricity becomes very, very important. And how do I get electricity while I'm out there in the bushes to edit these videos? Even this video right now, it's gonna be made possible by this product I'm gonna show you guys. Now, you might have seen me moving from place to place in those videos just now. You might be thinking, oh, it's a very creative, you know, twisted things. Really and truly, I was trying to escape the sun. It's pretty hot out here. But this part I'm gonna show you guys right now actually loves the sun okay I'm, I'm done with the suspense i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about now the product i'm talking about is a powerhouse of a power bank yo shout out to anchor for sending this product out to me to actually test now power banks are very very essential because they're stuff i like to do when i go camping my camping style is more like glamping i always want the experience to be a lot more comfortable and having power out there is a part of that because you know persons want to be on social media on the phones or even just having lighting out there proper lighting so you can cook in the dark and um, having a power bank is important for that now for me like i said before being able to edit my videos or even just throwing stuff onto the laptop before i get home to complete them is important and we all know laptops use quite a bit of energy especially when you're using editing software so anyway let's jump right into the box i'm gonna be very honest i opened the box already because i was so excited to see what it was and how it works so it's not gonna be like a full unboxing but i wanted to show you guys the box because i think it was a beautiful box um you know when you're buying any product you want your product to 
feel as if it's very valuable and this one definitely holds its weight now this one here is pretty portable it's a little bit on the heavier side because it is a powerhouse it's meant to be able to give you several charges on your laptop your drone your cell phone whatever the case is while you're out there camping now i did mention to you guys earlier that this particular product loves the sun and because anchor was nice enough to also send out for me to test this beautiful thing right here this is actually a solar panel system that comes along with it so if you look at it right now it looks very small but it actually opens up and what i love about this part here is that it has all the storage capacity that you need for all the wires i have so many different products that come with so many different wires i actually have to label them because i get confused as to what power cord powers what but lucky enough inside here as soon as you pop it open you have all the cords that you need for your anchor power supply system you guys might be saying yeah well someone sends you the product you're gonna say nice stuff about it actually no i was happy to get this product because my very first power bank ever before youtube or anything like that was actually an anchor power bank i had a very small one that i would take around with my cell phone because the battery was very bad back then so i had to always have a power bank with me but anyhow i actually have this bigger one because i'm on to now bigger things doing camping and youtube but enough of that i'm gonna show you guys how the solar panel actually works because i've never used a solar panel before and i i own one now now if you guys are any way like me i i almost never open an instruction manual and if i'm able to figure this out without an instructions manual then it's already starting to be a really good product now we've seen now we've seen several times on tvs you know what a power bank look should look like and immediately you know it opens up so i can tell already this is the these are the panels this is the part that actually takes all of the energy from the sun and logic will have it you want the solar panels to be facing the direction of the sun so um let's try to figure this out so of course i think the sun is coming from this side um, oh, okay, cool. So it has fold out legs, which is really important because when you're trying to go camping and you're packing a car and you know, stuff like that, you, your space is everything. If you have too much bulk, it's not good. So I like that it's a fold out panel. It doesn't seem to take up a lot of space and the legs are already attached. So let's just set the, the other leg. Hmm. So there's actually, I opened this before, but I never used it. And there's actually something that's trying to figure out what does it mean. And again, I'm not using an instruction manual. And I'm talking about this thing right here. So when I saw it before, I was like, maybe it's something that's going to light up. It's an indicator. But giving it a quick look with the diagram, it's basically telling you if the shadow, you might not be able to see on the camera, but if the shadow falls into that red circle it means that it's getting as much direct sunlight as it can right now it's falling just a little bit outside of that red circle so it means i might have to position this a little bit better but the good thing is that it's not falling too far out all right guys it's clear this thing loves the sun but i don't as much i'm sweating bullets but anyway i got to figure out how to pop that thing right into the center so now it's getting direct sunlight and i think that was very important because before i was thinking how on earth am i going to know if it's getting as best of sunlight as it can but anyway that's happening perfectly fine now um one tip i had the the, the charges and the cables and everything inside the case still quick tip i don't think that might be in an instructions manual take those out because it kind of unbalances the panels and it makes it want to keep falling back so anyway Let's try to power my cell phone. So I went to get my cable for my phone and I almost cried just now because as I said, I'm trying to charge the phone first with the solar panels without using, you know, the box and everything, the power bank. And I was just like, my phone is modern. It has the USB-C cable part and yeah. But the good part about this this is actually a modern solar panel, so it actually takes this, thank God. So it's good to know that they were thinking about that. So at the back of the solar panel here, you have this little box. 
and this same box you can actually connect the solar panel to the power bank system which i'll show you guys pretty soon so now that's connected now remember it has no power except the sun so now let's check it out on phone i'm about to plug it in oh my gosh oh snap yo that is ridiculous you guys see the charging sign there so i'm actually now off grid jps that is the jamaica public service people that give us electricity has no strains on me like i am literally off grid now and that's amazing <sighs> now on youtube we have something that we consider they call it the youtuber burnout and i think it happens a lot because there becomes a lot of monotony and for myself Working in the same position all the times, it, it, it gets too much for me. It feels like it, it makes it feel like I'm not really a YouTuber. I started YouTube so that I would have freedom away from the office. I never wanted to be in a cubicle, whether it's at the studio, at the house, or anywhere at all. So right now, I am all the way out in Portland. I'm by a beautiful pool. I'm looking off into the Portland Hills, over into the Caribbean Sea, and I can edit my videos anywhere. Now, not all the time you have a plug close by. So with the power bank, it gives you that freedom of being able to do that. Of course, if you have loss of power, you know, electricity or whatever the case is, and you still need to work or still operate your Wi-Fi box, you can always plug it in. Now, this says AC. What I like about it, it has two AC power outlets. So it means that you can connect two of these sprung things for persons who don't know electrical terms right into the box so of course just above the power bank there is a button there and you press it and it shows me immediately that I have a hundred percent it shows me the output you guys just heard my laptop was at 67 percent now it's charging so that's good uh, let's see it shows how much wattage is going out, so that's good. And I can start editing at any single moment. That's pretty cool. Of course, the power bank comes with cool little auxiliary items. For example, a flashlight. It has SOS functions and stuff like that, which again is also cool. Even though I have several flashlights, it's good that I have an additional one. Okay, so the moment it has now settled off at 9.7 hours worth of runtime, by the time I start editing a video, maybe I would say I'll be averaging about eight hours of runtime. But like I said, we can extend that power time by connecting it from here to there. So I plugged it in there. Now I'm just trying to figure out where this goes in. All right, so we have that plugged in. Cord's going all the way here. I like that the cord is pretty long, so. If I wanted to be in the shade right now, I could have the over here, have the power bank somewhere closer in, and then have my computer further away because that also has a cord. So anyway, um, it's at about 9.3 hours. So let's plug it in. All right, and there we see it says 98%, and in the next 0.2 hours, it will go back to full 100%. It's actually getting currently 71 watts in it's pretty good all right guys so i definitely can't wait to use that product a lot more in the next upcoming video so check it out i'll tell you guys exactly how everything is going because of course with any product it takes continuous use but it's definitely going to up my game especially when it comes on to camping in the outdoors and being able to give you guys more content anyway let's jump in all right michelle so we're with the food money now you excited feet Yeah, so we're about to put him on right now. We're gonna go inside and put in our orders. <laughs> go on in our experience, Jamaica. I'm gonna put in the order. Go on inside. Yeah, just walk in. So the official name is just cool, but I'm calling it AKA Pudding Man. All right, so I have to jump inside the car for a quick second. Um, so they were basically saying like, they don't usually allow people to record in there, but they're giving this opportunity. 
and he was he was explaining a bunch of um reasons i don't quite know why but anyway they have a channel called the pudding man channel i'll ask my cousin and she'll tell me a bit more because she was the one that was talking to the pudding guy what was he saying about i don't know he was he saying that because is... he must separate you from she and then no i separate uh so me when we when we did go down and tell the lady say it's one week them are called you are separate i know and I she are no separate. but then he was saying that uh some people are copying like the channel or something some something something else sort but they have a channel called the pudding man channel so you the guys can go over there pudding. the original pudding man so you guys can go over there and check them out um they'll show you behind the scenes of the farming and stuff like that um yeah for me personally i always will say this like my grandmama's pudding is that's that's my standard of pudding but i really wanted my cousin to have an opportunity to try it um just an fyi so the system there is a little bit it's a little bit different so the first thing that you do you go down to the right side of the counter you put in your order tell them what you want then you go back to the left side and that's where you pay so there's a little bit of a miscommunication here and there but i mean i like this place as a street food spot just because it appeals to one of the things that i like seeing just the outside it looks very catchy seeing all those things with the coal on top i think that's really unique looking just like the coconut stuff that we made just now so yeah let's get a review from my cousin really quick and um she will be honest about it so in a jamaica this stop the pudding man stop is a stop okay. where everybody talk about. oh gosh it's hot it's hot which yeah. is good which is good it's hot let me see this one looks like so I can't really talk about the, the potato pudding because, yeah, oh, that's not really my thing, but call me pudding I can talk about. Of course it hot. Smells really good though. Mm -hmm. Smells real good. Yeah, hot pudding. <laughs> okay, sure. So I waited until I got home and I tasted the pudding. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> it was okay. Yeah, I'm glad I never eat it when it's hot though, it was okay.